got to send it to ringside Brandon Kyle. He's going to pull. We have five three-minute Let's go! On the line. The triumphant middleweight world title. That's right. The triumphant middleweight world title. First man making their way to the ring. Luis Castaneda. This is the main event. Fight fans, Luis. Huicho Castaneda making his way into the ring. Hits the scales at 160.8 pounds. This man is a veteran of 70, 70 fights. 45 wins against 25 defeats. This man has knocked out 26 people. I say right now he looks a lot bigger than he does yesterday. He oh, certainly man. does. Oh, he look, he look thick. I am so excited right now. Muay Thai fans. This is a big fight. This is what it's about right here. Yeah. This is Muay Thai at the highest level. Making his way in the triumphant ring. Let's go. Luke Lisi. Luke Lisi is the incumbent champion. He is defending his triumphant middleweight title. They call him the chef. He hit the scales at 160.5 pounds from Des Moines, Iowa. Lisi, remember that name? The chef himself. What will he be serving up tonight? We'll have to find out. And as I say always, buckle up your seatbelts because airbags will be deployed. Luis Castaneda taking on Luke Lisi. So unassuming, Luke Lisi. You know what I mean? You, you watch him walk in. Posture, demeanor, right? Like I, I was saying the other night, man. I, you know, you, I see that kid in an alley in Brooklyn. I'm like, Dude. I'm taking his money. Yeah, he looks like a nerdy little white kid. <laughs> he ain't having he it. He is no joke. He ain't having it. And then you got his opponent this looking, is who I don't want to see in an alley. Dude. I'm just gonna give him my wallet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it. Only one melee triumphant. Yes. And only one melee, the triumphant melee world champion. It has a lot of fans here. Number of fans here. Mexico, baby. Fans. Representing the red corner, this man stands 63 inches tall. Officially 160 pounds. His three fights in triumphant have been all finishes by way of knockout. He is your current middleweight world champion of triumphant. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to cook. Man, I got to give a shout out to ringside Brandon Kyle. He is Buffer. Nailed it. And Bruce and Michael. Nailed He's it. got the Michael Bolton yes. of ring announcing. Again, let's revoice to the voice of choice. Thank you, Brandon Kyle. Fighters are now sealing off that ring. Again, wearing that ceremonial Mong Kong on their head. Palm Malaya has the flowered necklace around the neck being worn by both of them. And again, performing the traditional wide crew, sealing off the ring, allowing their luck to stay inside, not allowing any bad luck to enter the ring. And Y Crew again literally means paying respects to your teachers. If fighters will bow down, pay respects to their parents, their teacher, their god, their king, whatever it may be. Luis Castaneda performing the full Y Crew. Lisi, 
the coach of Luke, his father. His day was called Lethal Legs. His son's got a lot of lethal legs as well. I am so excited for this fight. If I stop talking, that's just because I'm a fan and I'm mesmerized, but someone smack me, please. <laughs> Well, again, for the triumphant title, the main event, five three-minute rounds. Contested at 162. Luis our our first five-round five fight of the night. First five-rounder yep. and our first title fight of the night. Here we go for round one. Luke steps in with that jab. Luke's already using his aggressive. range. Goes with the leg kick. Both fighters exchange leg kicks. Weicho with the other leg kick. We see evades. Lisi with a strong leg kick. Nice Weicho movement, though, to, to set that leg kick up. Yeah. Weicho threw a low kick, and Lisi, and Lisi just barely moved his leg out of the way. Yeah, big low kick by Luke. He's getting on that early. Five-round fight, it could definitely pay dividends later. Lisi with that Ooh. long push kick. Weicho ain't, Weicho ain't worried. Push kick to the face, followed by a long jab, crossing a low kick. Big cross from Weicho. See, that's the thing about Lisi. Just went to the body with a, with a left hook and then finished with a low kick. It's never just a punch with him. No. I'm a little surprised though. Luke is just walking him down. Yeah. I thought it would have been the opposite. I really did too. I think Weicho's going with a calf kick. I can't tell exactly. Um, might not be a bad play later on in the rounds. Weicho with the one-two combination. Luke low kicks and switches it all to the left. Hard left hook. See how he changed his speed on that. Threw like a little bit of a slower right hand and then came back fast on the hook. The speed on Luke is looking impressive. Yeah, fast switch left kick. Rucho now trying to play the counter fight and the switch movement. And that inside low kick, big hook by Weicho. Oh. And you saw that little dip down low and then a high kick. Luke's doing a great job. He's just producing more numbers right now. Weicho's kind of singles. Yeah, yeah. And, and Luke is honestly, he's just putting a little more numbers out. And he's scoring beautifully. Yeah, Weicho's looking for the big punches. Yep. But uh, Lisi's just, just much more active. He's landing he solid. He, he really is. Um, I don't have to ask, but I'm going anyways. How do you, how you see it here, Primo? 10-9 Lisi. Yeah. You know, pretty easy. Competitive round, but, uh, you know, Lisi just outscored. Yeah. Looked good. I'm, I'm excited to see how these rounds develop as they get a little bit warmer and really start getting at it. Yeah. Luke, Luke started to kind of feel it, find his own a little bit. Weicho, I really think you need to turn up. Someone with us, being a slick fighter like Luke, you got it. You got to get in the face. Yeah, you have to. Um, and, and, okay, and we, we may have lost that first round, so let's uh, give a small recap of that first round for our uh, video fans. Uh, Luke, Luke uh, did a great job. Uh, actually, he was more the, the forward aggressor. He was scoring really well. He was putting his numbers more together. Weicho was looking for bigger shots. Did land a couple, but Luke ultimately um, won the run uh, unofficially just by producing a little more. Yeah, pretty, pretty standard opening round for Luke Lisi. Yes. Castaneda going with that jab to the body. Luke Lisi with a very high guard. He's very deceptive in his range. 
Very long fighter, and I like that low kick that Change it up. Lisi now, throws. instead of being on the front foot, Lisi's tapping the front foot. Yep. Yeah. Big right hand. He's been looking for that. That was a hard right hook? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's got to be Weicho's punch, right? Yeah. That, that's got to be the for thing sure. that he's looking to end fights with. But you know, when you start to, to let it go too many times, fighters, they, they, they see it, they make adjustments. Oh, you yeah. can still land, just got to set it up better. But uh, I think Luke's, Luke put that in his in his bank, like, okay, that's what you like to do. Smile from Weicho. Lisi, yeah. Lisi just tried a, a big elbow that missed and a smile from Weicho. But man, Luke's chopping down the tree right now. Everything Weicho throws, Luke's countering with a low kick. Which was a little bit overreaching with those punches. He's trying to get that cross on the inside. Oh, it looks, looks like Lisi's just getting in his comfort oh, zone. Nice slipping uppercut there. You know, for a big guy, he manages to get inside really well. He does. I like if Luke cut off the ring a little more. Yeah. yeah. See that? That counter low kick is beautiful. But they cut up the ring if you you got the range on him. Don't give him a way out. Weicho really needs to start turning up the gears a little bit here. Yeah, I'd like, you know, with this height difference, I'd yeah. like to see Weicho uh, throw combinations to the body. Yes. You know, two punches to the body and then come back up top. Yeah. Beautiful cross jab, low kick by Luke the Chef Lisi. Lisi caught off balance on that. Weicho trying to find some rhythm. That was a landed low kick from Weicho. None of this looks like it's bothering Weicho at all. Maybe his plan is to take a, try to take him a little deeper water and then start to turn the heat on. You know, I think with, with 70 fights, yeah. I don't think anything's new to Weicho yeah. necessarily, right? I'm impressed with how much Lisi has been on the front foot. In this yeah. fight. Nice right elbow, nice head kick like forward. It. That hurt him a little bit, I think. Oh, Lisi trying to finish strong in this last 10 seconds. A great first round between these two warriors. You're on official scorecard, sir. And 10 9 for Lisi. I got him two rounds to zero. Castaneda is fighting, fighting a good fight. He's just not he's just not active enough, and he's not able to get through that high guard of Lisi. And Richard, if you were in the corner of Castaneda, what are you going to tell your fighter? Got to make it ugly, man. You really can't. Like, Luke is too slick. Um, you know, even though he's pressing for it, I would use my, my, my outside movement, and then I'd blitz in. Uh, you you got you to gotta disrupt his base. Yeah. Um, Luke with a base um, is a dangerous, dangerous man. Uh, you got to get in there, and you got to make it rough. Yeah. grueling grind him down because you've been playing this game of trying to be off the back foot staying out there and Luke is picking him apart right now castaneda has got to take that like uh, that bovey yeah type of type of forward yeah. momentum oh, yeah. hard punch to the body measure he still moves forward yep. hit again overhand right yep beautiful low kick Luke starts out the third round and this is round number three if you're joining us we know we lost signal for just a bit but it's been Luke Lisi with the combinations and that leg kick. Nice, nice switch on yeah. kick. What, what a change up there. Luke yep. Lisi had been going to the outside, going to the outside, and then right there he, he hits that low inside kick to get to knock Castaneda off balance. Unofficially, we have Luke up two rounds to zero, going in the third round. And it seems like Weicho is trying to find a solution for this. Answering with the leg kick and just trying to throw some heat. Luke Martin is inside. Luke, yes, go ahead. Luke is answering back a lot of anything that Weicho throws. Luke answers. Nice. He tries to spin him back. That's desperation, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, you start. Oh, that body kick. Oh, that hurt him. Takes a deep breath there. Oh, Luke's going to dig. Oh, oh, again. Again. Last show, Mr. Lisi. Lisi spotted that right away. Yeah. What a good eye. It's a deep breath. It's a deep breath. You know, a lot of fighters wouldn't have picked up on that. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Weicho did a good job of trying to hide it. He did. Most people probably don't see it. Luke's going to keep going. Keep going to that body all day. He knows it's, it's hurting. And you see the urgency in Weicho. Nice. Weicho Ooh, wincing wow. on that. Ooh, elbow. He is down on that. He is, that is wincing. Savage. He threw like a... Le Lisi is so sneaky with those straight kicks. He's so sneaky with that push. He came in, he leaned his head inside, He's then right. leaned his That's head it. outside, and threw That's that it. push kick for the finish. That's it. Right. Did he throw like a, it was like a right kick, but a kind of like a... Yeah, yeah. What, he, what like I said, he, he leaned his head inside, yeah. and then leaned his head back to the outside, and let his right leg swing back to that center line for yeah. that push it's kick. kind of like a Michael Jackson. Yeah. Oh, it was almost, it was almost like a question mark. Yeah, straight kick, straight kick, and yeah. I think he dug with his toes in the rib. He did, yeah, absolutely. It was smart. Yeah, that, that was smart. He he recognized that was hurt, got it done early. And Weicho still wincing with pain, sitting down in his corner, just taking that breath there. And the chef himself, man, you know any any anyone that you finish with a body shot has to serve you in the afterlife. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, it's a fact. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible? Yeah. I like yep. it. I thought it was in the Geneva Convention. It's, uh, well, one or the other. Yeah. What a finish from our champion, huh? Oh. Now let's describe the fight again because we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Round one, what was that, Richard? Uh, round one, you know, I, I, uh, Weicho was coming out pretty strong, but Luke was just answering. Actually, Luke was the aggressor in round one. He did a great job uh, picking the shots, just kind of starting to break Weicho down, just making him miss, making him pay. Producing oh, more numbers, nice. landing some solid low kicks. Solid low kicks, chopping the leg right away. Um, you know, Weicho was looking for big shots, uh, but just just didn't put it together. And, and well, you know, here's the thing: we're gonna sit here and talk about like the, the offensive work yeah. of Lisi, but what about the defensive work of Lisi? That too, right? I mean, that really, that that first round was Lisi not letting Weicho get to him. Yeah, no, right? just mitigating that distance, not letting them score on him. Okay, and you saw what happened in the third and final round. The chef once again serves liver here up in Mexico, defending his title against Luis Castaneda. Man, that's tough. I, I'd like to see Castaneda fight again. I, I think too. he's a good fighter. I, I, I just, I just think, you know, Le Lisi is—he's uh, a different thing right he's now. He's a Rubik's yeah. cube, and you can't solve him. Man, you are going to just play chase. He's a matrix. This is wrapped this in an enigma. Two shows in the row. Luke, the chef, Lisi, serves liver for dinner. Yeah. Makes the liver quiver. Man, oh man, that's some Hannibal Lecter stuff going on. First and foremost, let's give a big round of applause to Luis Risha Pasadena. That was a great effort to fourth in that championship round. But... At one minute and 48 seconds in the third round, the chef is cooking liver once again, and he's still your middleweight triumphant world champion, Luke the Chef! Oh, that was exciting.